Hi, thanks for coming back. Um, don't you remember okay. me? I'm Vicky the pharmacist. Yes, yeah. hi. Yeah. Is it okay if I call you Leslie? Yeah, sure, yeah. Brilliant. Have you got your inhalers with you? I do, yeah. Yeah, Fantastic. some work. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of them that was new, wasn't it? Um, yes, it was... That one, the, the brown one. And have you had the have you had the chance to start taking that one? As I you have, have, yeah, yeah. And how, and how are you getting on with it? Um, fine, I think. Yeah, I had a little bit of a problem at first because the shape of the mouthpiece is slightly different, but I think I've got used to it now. Um, I mean, I don't honestly feel, you know, any better. I've not felt a, a huge difference, mm -hmm. but I wasn't sure if that could be my fault because I do occasionally forget to use it. Okay. So the only problem really that you've had is changing mouthpiece. Yes. And that yeah. occasionally you may have forgotten to take it. Yeah. Which is perfectly normal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well hopefully you're getting on okay with that mouthpiece uh, yeah. now. Uh, do you think that's something that ongoing will be okay? Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Could I just ask you, Vicky, I can see you've got a big uh, missed questions yeah. there. I'm just a bit worried because I've left my kids in the car with my mum um, and they, they might be wondering where I get to it. It's going to take quite a while. Don't worry, it's only a few minutes. Right. As I said, okay. it's just a chat, a conversation. Right. This is just really here to remind me in case I've forgotten anything. Right, okay. Okay. So you mentioned that um, you occasionally don't manage to take this um, twice a day. Yeah. Um, can you think of, well, how often would you say that's happened? I think in probably in the last couple of weeks, it's probably been about four or five times I've forgotten, and it, it's always been in the morning time, you know, mm -hmm. because the alarm goes off and I'm up and running about yeah. straight away trying to get everybody ready um, and out the house, so... Um, okay, well, it's one where... If you can manage to take it morning and night regularly, it is really important because right. it just helps control the asthma, calm everything down, and it should mean that you need to use this one less. Right. If you do okay. manage that the twice yeah. a day, it really helps get your asthma under control. Right. I mean, is there anything perhaps do a little bit different? Uh, anything that you can think so that we can uh, help you remember to take it in the morning? Um, well, I had been keeping the inhaler in the bathroom near my toothbrush because I thought that would remind me. Yeah. But that doesn't <laughs> seem to be working. Maybe I need to put it right next to the toothbrush or something. Yeah. I don't know. Next to the alarm clock. I don't know. Yeah, probably. Yeah, on top of the alarm the clock. That would be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll give it a go and, and see yeah, how you get I'll on. Yeah, I'll try that, yeah. Okay. Do you feel it's working for you? Um, well, as I said before, I, it's difficult to say. I don't really feel any different. You mm -hmm. know, I felt quite well after my two weeks off and my course of prednisolone. Yeah. Um, and I seem to have stayed like that. That's I, good. You know, it, it, I don't really feel any different. Well, to be honest, it is one where you won't have massive impact when you use um, right. the inhaler. You don't get like an instant uh, feeling from taking it. It's just that day in, day out, remembering to take it that just really helps control the asthma. Right, okay. Um, so so yeah. that's quite normal. Um, I've been managing to do a bit more exercise again, so maybe it oh, is fantastic. beginning to work. Mm -hmm. Any side effects or anything? Um, not that I've noticed, no. Everything's mm -hmm. been fine. And is there anything else you'd like to ask about or know about? Um, no, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. okay. well, I'm really glad you're getting on so well with your yeah. new inhaler. Thank you. One thing I can't help but notice is the cigarettes. Uh, are they yeah. yours? Um, yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you're probably aware, the cigarettes aren't going to do much to help your asthma. Um, is that something you'd ever considered reducing or cutting out? Well... I guess being I've worked two weeks, I've had a bit of a wake-up call, and I do know I need to give up smoking. It's just, and I keep having a little try, but it's just not so easy. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, but if you want any help to give up smoking, you can come into the pharmacy, and we can really help support you through that and give right. you some guidance. So when you feel you're ready, do come in and talk it through with us. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Well, it seems like everything's going okay. Um, so what we really could do with doing now is arranging a way that I can still check that you're doing okay in another couple of weeks. Right. Okay. That could either be you popping back in for another chat with me here, or I could catch up with you on the telephone and just see if anything else crops up in the next few weeks with your medicines. Right. 
Um, well, I can come back to the pharmacy. It's only around the corner. It's no trouble, really. Yeah. And it's really nice to speak face to face, isn't yes, it? it yeah. Is. Yeah. Well, what I'll do, if you want to speak with Jill, um, she can book a good time and date in the end for you. Right. And uh, we'll see how you're getting on in another few weeks. Okay, then. All okay, right, that's thanks. great. Thanks.